like I said, if you haven't experienced it, well, you're in for an interesting ride. It's got a really high knockout rate, let's put it that way. <laughs> there you go. All right, round one. Three rounds on tie fight, outside kick there by Kassem. Yeah, and again. Start, just start there probably, Kassem two kicks in a row, connecting unanswered by Sansuk so far. But Sansuk is backing him into that corner. Right hand straight away, two right hands. Kassem just blocked it with that left paw of his. But a warning shot there. Attempted left elbow, sorry, right elbow there coming in from the tie fight to Sensuk. Yeah, the experienced fighters would have known what Yanis was looking to do. Going for the low kicks and then just when his opponent doesn't expect it, goes for the one-two punch. Oh, a bit of a slip there. But attempted right high kick that just brushed the arm of Kassem, who's apologizing for attacking. I don't blame him for that. No, not at all. That's what he's meant to do. <laughs> exactly. Big oh. kick there from Sansuk. Trying to go for the high kick early on, looking for the knockout. Again, Sansuk is the one who's pushing back for that jumping down with elbow. You've got to love traditional Muay Thai Baran moves. Spectacular there from Sansuk. Oh, body, body shot. Yeah, the body shot. It seems to have hurt. Yes. Kassem. He's covering up, but he's not really covering up the body though. Sensuk wants it. He's biting on that gum shield and saying, come on, bring the action. Good knee there. In reply by Kassem. From that moment, you, you think Kitty was in the ring right now. <laughs> Love that stuff. Moving forward, going for the barrage of punches. Trying to get the knockout early on. Big right hand there from Sensuk. And the spinning oh! back elbow. Sensuk trying to... Please, the crowd in the opening stage is nice left up to the body there by the TIE Fighter. Yeah, just as we said early, early on, Sensuk has a lot of tricks up his sleeve, so expect some more to come out of the bag. Good knees here coming in by both fighters, and the referee breaks this one up. I'll tell you what, though, the heat today in Karat. Oof, it's been a hot one. It's still sticky right now. I wonder if that's affecting the fighters at all. And I'll tell you what, it's only going to get hotter. Yeah. <laughs> This is only the first match at Sansuk already looking for a knockout with a huge body shot again and making Yanis Kassem miss. Yeah, good head movement as well there by the tie. Attempted elbow, but missed. Good knee to the thigh there by Sansuk, but the referee's not having any of that. No, I think it was mainly because Yanis Kassem was holding onto the ropes. He can't do that in a Muay Thai match, regardless of what position you're in. Kassem seems like he's enjoying being in the match. Knees, punches, kicks. Especially was enjoying those punches to the body. Yeah, I think he's had a lot of success to the body, but I can't believe he took that head kick and remained, well, attacking. Not just standing, he was continuously attacking. He also threw that jumping, flying elbow as well. That's right, it's very hard to give the round to Yanis Kassem, I have to say. That first round definitely went definitely. to Sansuk. I agree, 100%. Although we are not the judges. No. Just so everyone at oh, home knows. Oh, nice left hook there. what we have for round number two. Big elbow coming in from the Frenchman to start things off and you can see here already Sansuk going forward. And he said he really wants that knockout going for that right hand. Yeah, if you're the TIE fighter in TIE fight, again if you're new to watching TIE fight, there's almost, there's a bit more pressure on you to perform in that TIE fight ring. Yeah, nine times out of ten, it's in the name, isn't it? Tie fight. Exactly. And let alone, let's not forget, Sansuk is in his hometown. He's got his friends, his whole family here watching. Good left hooks there by Sansuk. But again, I can appreciate and enjoy the way that Kassam is keeping that guard nice and high. Because a lot of the shots that, Kass sorry, that Sensuk is throwing are actually being deflected on okay. the ropes. So he's oh, good defensively. body shot again. A and that good body head. shot definitely connected, Aaron. Yeah, good head movement as well by Sensuk. Usually, you said, oh, good hands there, it's replied by Kassem. You've got to love the chin from Sansa. He's taking a head kick, he's taking four heavy shots to the head, and he's remained standing and still pushing forward. I feel like you've got to appreciate as well the toughness that Kassem's showing, because he's took a lot of body shots, and he's still in there. And yes, he has. If, if he has been rocked, or if there's been a real problem, we haven't known anything about it. He's kept a good poker face. Yeah, he has. 
I mean, that's one of the most important things in Muay Thai, keeping a good poker face. Because the moment that you show your, your opponent that you're hurt, your opponent's going to attack that very oh. part of the body. Jumping knee attempt there by Sensor. Moving into the clinch, going after the head. The last thing you, can, you need to do is put your head down that low, because you might pay the price, just like Yanis Kasem almost did there. Kasem is slowing down now. You can see the way he was backing up into that corner. He's just guarding himself from more injury and more hurt. That's right, Aaron. He's he wasn't as confident as he was. That's right. He's not fighting back as much as we saw in the opening round. Another jumping knee to the body there by Stenson. Deep breaths again by the, by the Frenchman. It's only a matter of time, Aaron. Oh, yeah, accumulation of those body shots, and down goes Kasem. You've got to wonder, can he get up? He's taken so much punishment. Sensor was being calm, and he was being patient with those body strikes, and look, they've paid dividends. Second round, Kasem is down, and he's struggling to breathe right now. I think the referee slowed down the car oh, a little bit that. to the end. Straight away, Sensor goes after the body with knees, with punches, and even Kasem, when he froze, there's not as much power behind those shots as there were, as we first saw them in the opening round. Just like we said earlier, when you show your opponent that you are hurt in a certain part of a body, they will attack that body part. That's why it's so important to keep that poker face. Yeah, look, he's, he's grimacing before the shot's even been thrown right now. He needs to get out of this round as quickly as possible. Yeah, take some time to regroup because Sansa is not going to slow down. Catches him with a good big left hook, but again, the power that we saw in round one just isn't there. Oh, but he makes it. End of round two. Sends up on top here at Tie Fight. Well, Sensor, he came out in that second round and was determined to try and take out Kasem and it was the body shots that were the on, on the menu for that young man right there. And many could argue that he might have got it, or he almost did. And some could argue that the 10, ten count was a little bit slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Kasem's guarding up, but then Sensor goes down to the body. He's been doing that throughout the whole fight in the first and the second round and the delayed reaction there yeah, by was. Kassem. Yeah, we see his, a lot eyes of are, his eyes are glued almost to the body of Kassem. And there, just that sneaky left up was all, all that it took and eventually that pain yeah, we see reached quite, the brain of Kassem. We see it quite often in Muay Thai though, that delayed reaction. That, yeah. and it usually happens when the fighter takes a deep breath in right. and then they realize has in store. Well, Nina, Kevin are confident. Well, we know for sure that Sensor is up in this fight. Because Sam needs a knockout. Yes, he does. to the face there by Sensor. That was a menacing oh! laugh from Sensor, and I don't think Kasem appreciated that one bit. You can see, here we go, Sensor going for the knockout, going for blood. You gotta love it how he's pushing forward. He's in his hometown oh! and going for the Sensei cartwheel kick. Entertaining the crowd. Yeah, he didn't like being teeped to the face, did he, at all? Not one bit. A Not bit, one bit. A little bit of sign of disrespect there by Kassem. To be fair, I don't oh, think... Oh, good left put there by Sensu! To be fair, most people I don't think like to get teeped to the face. True. <laughs> <laughs> Another body shot. Elbows coming in there from Sensu. Sneaking that left elbow through the guard as well. But you've got to love the heart that Yanis Kasem is displaying. Just when you think he's in trouble, he manages to counter. He's tough. He is. Absolutely. Again, guarding him. But another body strike there from Sensor. Kasem moves in with that right hand. Sensor just shrugs it off. And again, going back to the body. Almost connects with that downward ah. elbow. Yeah, he connected with that in the first, in the first round. But in the third round, maybe Kasem knew that was going to come again. Kasem, he needs to take a deep breath in here and find a second win if he wants to try and knock out the tie. Good body strike there by Sensor. That time going in with the legs. Oh, elbow with the clinch. Good hand there by Kasem. Oh, but a good knee there by Sensor. Just to the body, not to the head, I believe. Yeah, and you can see there Sensor trying to go for a downward elbow, but the referee perhaps saving Kasem at that very moment. Oh, spinning back elbow there by Sensor, but again, Kasem with that high guard. Not doing a bad job of protecting his face. Not at all. He's doing a good job here protecting himself with this third round of Yanis Kasem. 
Oh, good elbow! Just when I was about to say, I, I wanted him to attack when he did that beautiful elbow placed by Kasim. And again with that left hook. He's thrown that left hook a few times just as Sensu gets close. Big body shot there from Kasim and a return by Sensu. Guess he sees his pathways to victory is doing that. He's Sensu is going to move forward. He's going to try and cover up and throw one big shot and try and knock out the tie. Easier said than done. End of the third and final round. A great contest to start. The festivities here at Thai Fight. We will go though, of course, to the Ninja Scorecard. Sorry, decision. Stay with us. Yeah, somehow, but it felt like it was 50. Let's have a look at the highlights of the, of the whole fight. There's the cartwheel kick after that initial teep to the face. I think Sancho would be very proud of that. If he's watching on from backstage, which I'm sure he, I'm sure he is. Absolutely. Few hands being stuck through the guard. Sam did well though. Take nothing away from the way he fought in there. He really did his best to protect himself and sneak in a few shots. But it's not going to be enough, of course. But let's get the official decision from our MC. The ผู้ชนะนะครับแล้วก็เป็นกําลังใจให้กับผู้ที่พ่ายไปแล้วสุดท้ายเราก็เป็นเพื่อนกันแบบนี้แหละครับใช่ครับได้ผู้ชนะค